everybody so today uh we are going to be checking out some con pops and if you didn't check out one of my latest videos me and my cousin jamarcus actually hit the funko lottery and was super excited about that go check out our live reactions pretty much to those but today we got some pretty dope spider boy pop spider man pops he's my boy we got the street art and the red goblin con sticker funko pops and let's go ahead and check it out i heard you needed some help bro I heard you was having a lot of problems man Oh, man. Brother, let's go. Start the video. Time is money, and you be wasting too much of my time on these videos. Let's go. All right, you guys. Like I said, I don't know what that guy doing here, but, uh, that's Dave. Um, anyways, like I was saying, we got those con pops on deck. And I can't wait to get a good look at these out of box. I still haven't gotten a chance to peep them. So I, I really can't wait, especially for that street art one. It's both of these pops, uh, to me, were really, really slept on, you know. So, yeah, they slept on. Just like I need to sleep through this whole video right now. Bruh. Can you just put the pops up there? Can you just put the pops up there? Put them on. Let's go. Let's get this going. You thought I was just going to go along with the go along. Man, if you don't put the dang pops up there so we can check them out. Whoo. Is that even necessary? Anyway, so here we go. Let's, let's put them back up here. We have the... Con stickered street art Miles Morales and the Red Goblin. And these are beautiful pieces in box. I love the artwork on both of the boxes. They are actually really dope. These are pretty clean pops. Man, man, man. I love these things. Now, I, I do not know uh, if these are from anything specifically other than Funko just kind of making up its own sort of style mostly with the street art the red goblin I believe is maybe carnage in him uh, I got to do a little bit more research on that one later on but I haven't seen too much of this and I, I know that the miles and the street art deluxe pops in general is going to be have a whole wave the next one they announced was the daredevil so Let's, let's go ahead and crack into these things. I can't wait to check these out. Finally, you guys. Oh, joy. Lovely. Let's prepare ourselves for another 20-minute video. Just put them on the dang rotating display. Come on. You, you do realize every time you interrupt me, this th that makes the video much longer, don't you? Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into you guys. We're going to start off with this Red Goblin. And this thing is immaculate. Like, I, 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 it's pretty slept on. The one thing I will say off gate while looking at it, it gives me like those vibes of like a Chinese or Japanese, uh, you know, mask of like, um, what are like samurais and ninjas and stuff, how they, they have different masks. It, it makes me think of the PS4 game, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. That's actually pretty dope. And it kind of gives me those feels, but let's, let's actually peep this pop. And the eyebrows are something, you know, something definitely different because they're not just completely black. They got that white in there. The whole face is just 
ridiculously dope for a pop like i'm talking about paint wise and just how they the detail in it how it has layers to it it's not just a couple colors or something plain and simple really freaking dope and you can obviously he has a tail which is fire the the uh bombs the goblin bombs are black and they actually kind of look like symbiote heads but you know that that's given that red goblin is mixed with carnage uh, and then the glider is so dope, man. Like, not even just the face, just the whole mold of it. This mold is beautiful on its own. I wonder what the prototype of it kind of looks like if it, was, if it was all red, which I think it might be, or red and black. This thing is super clean, and I can't believe that a lot of people are sleeping on it. I think this is definitely one that will uh, definitely rise in value. And I can't believe, you know, that they even are going this deep in the Spider-Man line with certain things compared to other things I collect. Funko has a bad case of being repetitive. So it's it's kind of cool that they, they did something uh, new and unique, you know. And uh, you got anything else you got to say about this one, bro? This is what we're not going to do, okay? I am here to help you. I do not need your help. Because let's be real here, brother. You need some work. You need some help. And uh, as far as the pop go, nah, bro, it's fire. Like you said, you, you spoke enough for the both of us, trust me. We don't need to talk anymore else about this specific pop. I'm pretty sure you covered it, my guy. You covered it all. Can y'all please come get him? Please? Like, I'm begging y'all. Come get him. Jeez. Anyways, the uh, one thing I did want to point out, and I'm going to put up a picture of this to help you guys see better. The con exclusive Red Goblin, and you can't really tell that much, maybe a little bit there. Uh, put a better picture of it. The con exclusive Red Goblin from for Funko Lottery winners or for the Funko shop actually has two stickers the shared sticker underneath it, and then the actual con sticker in front of it. That's just how the pop came. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna hop to this next one, and this Miles. It's pretty fire because, one, I know a lot of people talk crap about it. I have my own feelings towards it whenever I seen it, um, like whenever they announced it, obviously, for Khan. And then I told myself, I really just want to see it in person. And now that I see it in person, I, I love it. Like, I, I can't complain. You can definitely tell a Spider-Man his face still has the indentations. You can see his, his hand doing the webbing. Now, my only problem is, is that the only way you would know it was Miles is if the box said so. You can kind of see his actual, his logo for Spider-Man on his chest. And it looks similar to the, you know, the first Miles Morales pops that they came out with a while ago in the Funko game. Not for the movie, but from the actual comics. And the thing that makes this make sense is that. Miles can camouflage himself or be seen, you know, seen through and stuff like that. So for this one pop, it makes perfect sense. And on top of it, it has the New York. It has a bunch of really dope uh, hidden Easter eggs in it. And I and I love it. I love this pop. It's it's a lot better shown to you in, in video or really truly in person if you guys can get your hands on it. I love this pop. I, I I don't know if I'll take it out or not, but it definitely looks like a piece that you guys would definitely love and appreciate a hell of a lot more. Out of box, I think is beautiful. I'm glad Funko tries new things, even if sometimes it fails or it flops or it doesn't do as well. I know this might be their only wave of the like street pops like they i think they have six and i don't think they'll ever do anything more than six just because how they're being received by people but i do think this is one of the best ones that they'll have in this wave and like i said earlier the next one is is the daredevil and i think that's one that we all gotta wait and see what it'll look like out of box
Oh boy. Um, do you have anything to say now, bro? Jeez, I know. I'm about to go in. No, I don't I don't got much to say, bro. I don't I don't really have any concerns or suggestions or you know anything like my only comment is is who the hell gave you a con sticker? Okay? I that one blows my mind. You don't need no con sticker. First, you don't deserve one. Secondly, you do realize everybody has these pops, right? Like, you're not the only one. Like, these pops, you know, you didn't get nothing special. No? Okay. You know what? I don't even know why I try. I try to share these things because I love them. Oh, boy. Ooh, doggy. Uh... I'm going to try and make sure that he's not here next week. I don't know how well that'll go. I always appreciate y'all for coming through. Please let me know in the comments what you swooped up from Comic-Con. If these two were one of the ones you got, how do you feel about this deluxe street art Miles Pop? I would love to hear what you guys got to say. And let, let, let your stuff be known in the comments. It, it, it'll definitely help me. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Make sure you subscribe, like, give a critique, something down in the comments or below. Appreciate you guys taking the time as always. Oh, and somebody please help me.